over to Catalina. Thank you very much, Ruth. And I'm also very delighted and, and, and humbled and honored to be here celebrating this 20th anniversary of IDA. As a former member, as the wife of an ex-executive director, <laughs> uh, I think that my life uh, it, its um, very attached to the IDA trajectory. Um, so what can we say about this 20 years of the International Disability Alliance? So many achievements that when we were listing them, I was uh, really so surprised and shocked up about the things that we could have and dream of when we were in the process of the negotiation of the convention. And I'm so happy to see here so many faces that participated in that process and that help us to be where we are today. But of course, it's not only that, it's not only the convention, but it's the, the SDGs, is the Addis Ababa Action Agenda, is the Sunday Framework for Disaster Risk reduction, the Reduction, the Charter on Inclusion of Persons with Disabilities and Humanitarian Action, mainstreaming disabilities into the work of the General Assembly, the Human Rights Council, and of course, most recently, and crossing fingers, the Security Council, IDA's impact on treaty bodies and the universal periodic review. So the impact is amazing. The international community and the international processes have been impacted by the advocacy work of IDA. And this is what we are seeing in these discussions on the Conference of State Parties and how the international agenda is moving towards more inclusion of persons with disabilities. So the work of the um, Alliance has been fundamental to keep the momentum and to take the discussions to a higher level. The network and, and the Alliance, I'm sorry, has grown significantly this, over these last 20 years. Eight global and six regional organizations of persons with disabilities and you're covering now over 1,100 1, organizations of persons with disabilities and their families from across the world. And of course, having such a diverse number of voices is always a challenge. And I think that we are now facing also the challenges, but I think that is exactly, and as Mika said, the strength uh, of the disability movement, that diversity. So we keep expanding as a movement, we keep growing, and we need to ensure that all these different voices are aligned with the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and its principles, that we have all the capacity to support and to advocate for the rights of persons with disabilities so that all the members, all the organizations at ground level, at grassroots level, have the same opportunity to advocate uh, and the same capacity to advocate. At the same time, we also need to ensure that we can still have within that diversity a common and unified voice. A unified voice to address the global challenges, and this is particularly important at this point uh, in this period of time when we are seeing an environment that increasingly challenges home, human rights. We have a hostile environment for the recognition of human rights, and in time like this, we need to be stronger and we need to be more united than ever to defend our uh, achievements and continue to advance in the recognition of our rights and the rights of everybody. Furthermore, we need to work together not only to advocate for what will benefit us all, but also what will benefit some other groups. Since the adoption of the Convention, the agendas of the different constituencies of the disability community have been growing apart somehow. I think that that might be a natural process, of course, but we need to remind ourselves that we need to continue to work united to have more power. Finally, I believe that we still need to work harder to ensure more participations from persons with disabilities experiencing multiple and inter intersectional forms of discrimination. Those belonging to minority groups, indigenous persons with disabilities, migrants with disabilities, those with different sexual orientations, etc. Closing, of course, I want to wish you all the best. I want to remain a partner of Ida and an, I an ally of Ida uh, for the rest of my life. Thank you very much.